Thy kingdom come, Lord, teach us how to pray for all to know your joy, your peace and love and know your friends. Hello, my name is Josh Marlowe and I serve as an aircraft engineer at RAF Bryce Norton. Today I am also representing the Armed Forces Christian Union. Welcome to this daily devotion on the fourth day of Thy Kingdom Come. Let us pray. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's daily reflection is taken from day four of the TKC prayer journal and takes the theme of God Creates. It was written by Dr. Lisa Ajay and begins with a Bible reading from Genesis chapter one, verse 10. God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas and God saw that it was good. The Bible begins with introducing us to a God who creates. This is one of the first things we learn about God. It isn't the 613 laws handed to Moses or the type of fabric the priests needed to make their tunics with. The first thing we learn is that God creates. Bara, in Hebrew, points to the action of creating. It's believed that this verb is only used in relation to God. I believe that the way God creates is not like us. He is able to create something out of nothing. In many nations around the world, God is known, called and referred to as creator. Genesis 1.10 ends with three powerful words. It was good. This is mentioned five times throughout the first chapter of Genesis. It was good. We see clearly God's stamp of approval over all creation. We must remember this isn't just over the human race, but over every aspect of creation. All of it is good. The Hebrew word for good is tov, and the original hearers would have understood tov to refer to the goodness of the ties and relationships between things in creation, says Lisa Sharon Harper. Everything was in right relationship with each other, between people, the land, animals and God too. In the kingdom of God, we look back towards Tov, towards creative goodness, remembering that we are not independent of the world around us, but stewards of this good planet we share together. We are invited to walk with our Father to change things now as we look in expectant hope to the heavenly city which is ours in Christ. Now, I would like to invite you to pray for five people you know need to come to a saving faith in Jesus Christ. I'll give you a little bit of time to recall the names of those five people so you can hold them in your mind as you pray for them. Heavenly Father, thank you for your kingdom and all the created things in it. Thank you that what you created, you saw as good. I am reminded that we are stewards of your kingdom. We have a responsibility to you as the Almighty to Creator, to look after what you have created. We pray now that I, and everyone watching this time of devotion, will be made aware by your Spirit of any actions we can take, big and or small, in the stewardship of your creative world. Dear Lord, we have a responsibility to pray for those who lead us. Specifically, we think of the Right Honorary Ben Wallace MP and his staff at MOD Head Office. May you fill him and his staff with wisdom and discernment. And may your spirit 
be a guide to him in the decisions he makes concerning the defence of our great nation. May the members of his staff be well placed to be of utmost support to him in all the duties he has a responsibility to carry out. Heavenly Father, we think of our members of the armed forces who are part of the Catholic Military Association. We thank you for their unwavering faith and dedication to the spiritual and practical support of their membership. We pray that you would be with each of them now in this moment. Give them courage for their endeavours and fill them with your peace which surpasses all understanding. Dear Lord, we thank you for this time that we get to spend in your presence together. It is so precious. It does us good to meditate on your word and spend time in communion with you, our Holy Father. We ask now that by your Holy Spirit, you would give us the courage and boldness to step out in faith, trusting you to lead our conversations with others and to work through us in adding souls to your kingdom. And now, please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In response to growing poverty in their local area, the Hendersons started operating their first ever food bank from their own garden, shed and garage in Salisbury, providing three days emergency food to local people in crisis. In the years that followed, the Trussell Trust began to rapidly expand as the Henderson's food bank model spread through church networks across the UK. We'll say a little bit more in tomorrow's devotion about the source of inspiration that fueled these churches. I'd like to take a moment just to remind you there is a link to the Just Giving page for the Trussell Trust just below this video on YouTube. Thank you for joining us in prayer today. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thy kingdom come, Lord teach us how to pray for all to know your joy, your peace and love and know.